Oh my god, model rockets. Welcome to Hacker Week. Okay, so model rocketry. I used to do some model rocketry ages ago. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, I got started with that. That would be 1970, I think, something like that. Um, and uh, had a teacher that we did some model rocketry with, learned about the physics of it, and it was lots of fun, and we got to go outside the classroom, and it was really cool. I fell in love with it. And I did it for about maybe another three years or so, and I, I got away from it. So this is the first time in like 47 years <laughs> that I'm launching a model rocket again. I got interested in it again by some people I saw on the internet um, that launched some rockets. One of them is Isla Foxland and a couple more people that were doing rockets. Uh, Griffin on Twitter is another one and decided to get back into the hobby. It's not that expensive and it's a lot of fun. And so I bought a Estes Amazon model, it's called. I didn't I just didn't want to name it Amazon because Amazon's Amazon. So I, I named it Sky Candy. It is um, a really simple rocket. It's a level one build rocket, really easy, easy to build. I built the whole thing in probably three hours time. Um, easier than the way I was building them when I was a kid. I'm gonna work my way up to some other models coming up, but anyway, I wanted to share this one with you. We've got it ready to go on the launch pad. We're near Carthage, North Carolina at a RC uh, flying field. And right now we're basically on their airstrip that they keep mowed. There's a huge field uh, in front of me behind you as the viewer. And there's a little bit of breeze blowing this way. Right now it calmed down, um, calm before the storm. There is a thunderstorm headed our way. I've got a B64 in here. Shouldn't go too high. Just want to see how it flies first. I've got it balanced out. I did the swing it around my head balance. It flies nose cone forward. It didn't at first. I had to add a little bit of weight to it. So um, let's step back a little bit here. And I've got everything ready to go. And I'm going to push the button and we'll launch it. Got a red light. Ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice, nice slow takeoff. And yes, we've got ejection and a shoot. So that was a B64, and I'm going to do a C67 now. It should go considerably higher. Let me show you uh, what's going on here. In the end here, down in there, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that inside there? The B64, the fuel goes up to maybe here. It's about that far. The C67 goes up to here. So considerably longer burn and also more thrust. So let's see what a C64 does and how much altitude we get. All right, so this is a fin can that was all plastic. You used to have to, a long time ago, you had to make a, a motor mount and then that glued into the tube. But this was just build this and it's good to go. The engine just drops in like this. It's got a retainer ring that you drop in on top of it, push in, and you twist it to lock it in place. And we'll get an igniter in there. And the igniters did come with a plastic plug. Um, I'm old school. I like uh, I like doing what I used to do with them, which is just take a little piece of the ejection wadding, which is fireproof. Take a little piece of that and um, just wad it up and stuff it in there to hold it in place. Pause it. Arm and ready. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Let me see if I can catch it. Blew out a parachute string <laughs> that time. There's not much to these. They're really simple. They just have a little reinforcement dot on the plastic. So if it yanks hard, it's going to pull it out. A real nylon shoe would be kind of nice. But that was a good launch. Wonder if uh, we have an altitude reading a new one. 311 feet that time. Ooh. 
Got to repair this chute. I'm actually going to put a much better chute on this rocket, but this was a good start. Um, like I said, it's a really simple rocket, uh, not real fancy. Um, could definitely upgrade the chute to something a little better. And um, we are going to be making a few more. I'm working on a 3D printed V2 right now, which should be lots of fun to fly. That's going to have a D motor, so that one should uh, get up there pretty good. So anyway, just wanted to share this short little video of me getting back into rocketry. That I'm known as a bar, a born again rocketeer. <laughs> so if you're on the uh, model rocketry forum, my handle on there is OG1959. That's when I was born, 1959. So. Well, that was a fun session. I am officially a bar, a born again rocketeer, and I'll be building some more stuff. In fact, I'm working on 3D printing uh, a V2 the bottom part of it. That ought to be pretty cool. I've also got four more models to build that I found on eBay. Got a pretty good deal on those. So there's going to be some model rocket stuff coming up. Get ready. Thanks for watching and until next time.